And very simply, culture equals performance. Uh, excuse me, culture is performance, but performance is your capability times your behavior. So those are just a lot of big words. So what's performance? Performance is what are we doing on the ice? Capability is our talent. How good is each individual? How good do we work together? And then it's always about how we act and how we work and how we think. And our performance, the way that we end up playing on the ice is our talent times how we act, how we work and how we think. And that's how critical that part will be for us. So the first step that we take is we wanna connect with our team and we wanna collaborate, meaning we wanna work together. And so this can come in different ways. It can be in individual meetings. Uh, it can be phone calls. Uh, we use a questionnaire at the beginning of the season. And in this questionnaire, uh, we want to find out a little bit about their families. What does their game look like when it's at the top? Uh, what does it look like when they're struggling? And how can we help them as coaches to get uh, back to neutral uh, when things aren't going well? We also want to know a little bit deeper and underneath, uh, what do they think a team looks like that plays hard, plays smart? And how do they want their culture to feel? each and every day. And so we do this for the reason, yes, to connect and work together with our team, but we're also trying to create ownership. What that means is that uh, we want our guys to feel like they've got a piece of the pie because now they've got, uh, we're gonna be able to get a lot more out of them when we do that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a shared vision. So in that questionnaire, in our dialogue with guys, one-on-one -on -one meetings, phone calls, preparing for the season, we've talked about our goals. And it's not just ours as coaches or the organizations, it's a shared vision that the, our players have also come up with. And so our, at Red Bull Salzburg, we don't beat around the bush. We don't talk about uh, making the playoffs. We don't say, hey, let's get home ice and let's see what happens. We're very crystal clear that at the end of our season, we wanna win the championship. That means we wanna lift a trophy. So we came up with a theme for our team this year called the chase is on. And the chase is on for us, it's about uh, a gap between where we are as an organization and where we wanna be. And for the last six years, a different team has lifted the trophy at the end of the season. And all that is is a reminder that we need to get better. And so our, the chase is on for us is about the relentless pursuit to be able to close that gap. And there's a, an old proverb about the lion. When he wakes up in the morning, uh, he has a choice to make. If he wants to eat, he's gotta run. And the, the same thing applies for us. If we want to win and we want to accomplish our ultimate goal, there's a choice that we have to make every day and we're gonna to choose to close that gap. And so now we've established our goal, okay? It's crystal clear, everybody knows what we're trying to do as a team. Now what do we do? Now we go to a different place in our brains and we're not gonna be focused on our goal. We don't spend a lot of time talking about that after we've established it at the start of the season. But we switch, and this is not new to sport or new to coaching, but we switch to process. And what that does is it puts our brains in the best place to be able to perform. 